All right, I'm going to show you a major triad shape I use with a slide. Um, I do it in open E, but it also works in standard because we're just going to be looking at the E and the B string. So the same standard tuning as it is in open E. Um, let me show you the notes first, then I'll show you how to do it with the slides. So it's going to be frets. Let's do it in G, just because I'm feeling G today. I don't know why. Um, it's going to be frets 8 and 12 on the second string. And then you're going to go up to the first string and hit fret 10, so there's your triad, right? And then to slide up to an octave, we'll go all the way to the 15th fret. So on the B string, it's 8, 12, and then on the E string, it's 10, uh, what is that, 15. So with your slide, what you're going to want to do is plant your thumb behind the neck, kind of in one position. For me, it's a little bit in between the 8th and 9th fret, but everybody's going to find their own sweet spot, depending on the shape of your hand, and what kind of guitar you're playing, and etc. Um, but what you're going to want to do is for those first three notes, you're not going to want to move your thumb. You're going to want to keep it planted and move the slide like this. If you see my thumb staying in place, as opposed to changing positions with each uh, fret you're sliding to. Don't want to do that. You want to do this. So it sounds like this. See, I can get a nice smooth sound as opposed to, I know it doesn't sound that much different right now, but if you do that for every slide you do, it just gets exhausting and starts to sound just rougher and kind of slow and it just doesn't feel good to play that way. I'll probably give you a carpal tunnel or something. Uh, so let's recap. Now you're gonna slide all the way up to the 15th fret and that's when you can change positions. So when I slide from fret 10 to fret 15, my thumb will kind of go with it and then it'll end up kind of around the 12th fret, if you can see that. So, and slide with your thumb too. So all one position, change position. And what's cool about that shape too is you can fit the major pentatonic within that shape we just played. It's already in there, so you don't have to change your hands or anything too crazy. All you're going to do is on your way up to the 12th fret on the second string, hit fret 10 on your way up, right? So. Same thing, my thumb's not moving. Then you're going to go up to the first string, hit fret 10 again, but then on your way up to 15, hit fret 12. Another thing I can show you too is the minor pentatonic shape. It's the same concept, but you're gonna drop the, or the minor triad shape, you're gonna drop that third from fret 12 down to fret 11. So it's gonna be the same uh, four notes, except you're gonna drop the B to a B flat. So the triad will look like this. Same position changes with your thumb, just that one note difference, a B flat as opposed to a B. It's fret 11 on the second string as opposed to fret 12. And then you can add the pentatonic into that too. That would look like this. It would be fret 8, 11 right on the second string. But then instead of sliding right to, or playing right to the 10th fret, you're going to hit the 8th fret on your way up. And that same thing, right? So while I'm playing that box, my thumb is not moving. And then instead of sliding all the way up to the 15th fret, you're going to hit the, uh, what is that, 13th fret on your way up. And I'll kind of switch positions going up to the 7th, the dominant 7th, so that's uh, uh, fret 13 on the E string. And you can do some exercises like that too, where maybe you go up and down.
I'm trying to play around a little bit with it. But you get the idea, you could find those pentatonics right inside the triads from uh, G to G, and that same pattern works in standard tuning because it's just an E and a B string. But awesome, thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any questions, and I appreciate your support. Thank you.